know, it was great. Um, you know, having Tyson back was a huge lift, especially against size like that. And then, uh, you know, when you got Tyson, Theo, Tyrus, and Gerald, you know, we got length and <coughs> shot block, and then, you know, that helps you defensively, um, obviously. But I don't think we win that game, you know, if Tyson doesn't play, you know, Theo gets two early fouls with their size. So it was, Gerald said best, um, you know, when we play as a team on both ends, we give ourselves a chance to win. And uh, Michael's talked about, you know, this is a great win, but you got to validate tomorrow and we got to, kind of understand why we won tonight. We defended, we shared the ball pretty good. Um, you know, DJ played as, as well as he has in a long time, and I think that was huge for us. So, good win. Can you talk about the role in the lift that the bench gave you tonight, though? Not only DJ, but Thomas came in and all that. Looked like the bench really did a good job. Oh, he's. we do our job, he's going to be a hell of a player. So long and athletic and cares about winning. Um, you know, he reminds me a lot of Je Gerald in terms of attitude. They want to get better. But again, you know, getting Theo with all the injuries we've had and then, you know, having Tyrus and that shot blocking, it changes a lot of things. There's it's not as many easy shots. We're going after shots, and that helps because, you know, obviously in a lot of games we've been beaten off the dribble. Um, we did a much better job of keeping in front of us, keeping people in front, and when they did beat us, we had people behind us. And that's, you know, again, having Tyson and Theo, Tyrus, that helps. How important was that stretch at the beginning of the second half? You guys come out and start a 12 1 run to get that little margin of the little cushion? Well, I, th <laughs> I think the way we ended the half, <clears throat> you know, they made a little run, got back in it, and then we and we were six up. But uh, Rod, Rod got on me because a lot of the guys sit around, you know, after the half, and we've been having some bad starts in the third quarter, so he, he suggested we get out and Shoot, and we did. The Lakers didn't, and I was I was thinking to myself, hell, they won forty six games, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it helped us. And yeah, we we've, we've struggled starting games and third periods. This is, I'm, this is be, I'm sorry, this is the best we played since Cleveland. We didn't play good before Cleveland, and we didn't play good after Cleveland. I hope I hope we realize what lays ahead. Lies ahead or whatever. <laughs> Can you just talk about it? everything Kobe did? It seemed like it was pretty well contested, just sort of how you threw different people at him and what your strategy was there. I don't have any strategy with him. I just hope he doesn't make shots. You know, we try to keep people in front of him and try to look like we're going to help. Um, but that, you know, they had an overtime game last night, and that was, a, that was, a, that was one of the best games I ever saw. Performance he put on and Wade put on was was incredible. But you know, I, I thought we played great. But with with Kobe, you just gotta gotta hope you keep him off the free throw line. And I thought we did a, a pretty good job of that. You know, he got he got three of them late. Um, I thought you know we <coughs> we made him shoot jump shots for the most part, except that one play he did on Gerald. That was. That was a low Marion Episcopal <laughs> Academy play. Do it off the backboard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> he knows he knows Gerald's from Episcopal <laughs> Academy and he don't like those private school kids. <laughs> <laughs> but he's you know, he's incredible. But I was you know, I I was proud of Jack. Uh, I thought Jack guarded him as well as you can. Um, and I was proud of Gerald Henderson, you know. First time we played the Lakers in LA, he said, Coach, I'd really like to play against them. And I, I was a little nervous about that. But I saw him play in Boston 
if he makes mistakes, if he takes a bad shot, it's, it's not because he isn't trying. So I think, you know, I'm going to put him in more, give him a chance. What, um, I know you get into the fast in the pregame, but what prompted you to decide that he already playing more meaningful minutes? Who? Gerald Henderson. What, what know, prompted me? Yeah. I just, I, I thought I said it. I, I watched him in the Boston game, you know, he played with energy. You know, he's not always going to do things right, but, you know, I haven't gotten discouraged with him, and I'm, I'm excited we drafted him, and I think he's going to be a player. So, you know, I, I just want energy. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't care. You know, I, when Raymond makes a mistake, you know, I might get upset, but you know he cares. I think this, those are the kind of kids who give you a chance in the long run to be successful. I think Gerald fits that mold.